It's been a roller coaster of a year for Google Stadia, but let's have a look at 2021 as a whole. Hey everyone and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. What a year 2021 has been for Google Stadia. So let's get the worst bit out of the way. SG&E, Stadia Games and Entertainment was shut down at the beginning of 2021, which did not prove a great start to the year. Let us know in the comments below what you think Stadia's best and worst moments were in 2021. At least we got Search though, this was finally added this year, as well as a strange feature called Stadia Controller Bridge. This allows you to connect a Bluetooth controller to your Chromecast Ultra through your phone. If you haven't looked at this or seen the news about this, then check out the video on our channel. That wasn't the only feature that we got for Google Stadia this year. Direct YouTube Streaming finally got its upgrade to 1440 and 4K. So if you were using Stadia to directly stream to YouTube, you're no longer stuck at 1080 and you can now get up to 4K, providing you are a pro member. Stadia kept to its commitment of 100 new games and that was completed just before December. That brings the total game library to 314 games. And this means that the pro game library is now extended to 125. So that means that if you've been claiming your pro games every month since launch, you would have 125 free games in your library now. If you are just signing up to pro today though, you will be able to claim 43 games straight away in your pro library. If you are a free to play member, great news, 2021 saw more games come to free to play bringing the total now to six. So Destiny 2, Super Bomberman R Online, Super Animal Royale, 9 to 5, Crater, and Hitman Starter Pack are completely free to play. All you need is your browser or your Chromecast Ultra. We did also see some of the Stadia specific features get extended to a few more games, though not as many as we would like. State Share now has seven supported titles. Stream Connect also has six supported titles. And Crowdplay now has nine supported titles. We've also seen the addition of gameplay demos, and we've also seen timed demos as well being able to play humankind and control for up to 30 minutes with no purchase. We also saw Stadia's first white labeling with the Batman Arkham Knight AT&T deal and could be a sign of things to come. So Stadia's library over 300 games with a pro library claimable at 43 to date. What happens at the beginning of 2022 will be a telling sign of what's going to happen in future for Stadia. As I said before, let us know in the comments below what you think the best and worst 2021 moments are for Google Stadia and what you think 2022 will hold. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.